Hello everybody and welcome. This is Crafty Lady. I'm going to show you how to make a potato bag. You are going to take, um, let me get this together because I already put together this. You're going to take one piece of fabric. It is going to be 20 inches long by 12 inches wide. You're going to have one piece of batting the same size 20 by 12 um, I'm Muslim not batting I'm sorry and then you will use one piece of batting that is 20 by 12 and what you're going to do is you're going to take your batting you're going to lay your batting down I hope you can see this you're going to lay your batting down you're going to take your Muslim right side up That's wrong side, right side up. This is going to be the inside of the bag. And then you're going to take your fabric and it is going to be right side down. You are going to pin all these together. You're going to pin them. And then what you're going to do is we're going to sew here on the short side and here on the short side. Do not sew in here. So, um, we will sew this. Remember to back stitch, which I forgot to do at the beginning. But we're going to be doing some other stitching too. I'm in a rush to make a bunch of these. I have a craft show Saturday. Um, I sold out of all these potato bags. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trim off the excess, get kind of close to the stitch. If you've got a serger, this works really good. And then, turn this off. I have a serger, but I'm too lazy to, whoops, I don't want to get that close. Too lazy to mess with it right now. Uh, but this is, I wanted to do this because not everybody has a serger. And because we don't want no raw edges showing. And then what you're going to do is, let me find my stitch. This is called an overcast stitch. I'm going to bring it over and show it to you. This is what the stitching looks like. We're going to go down the side with that um, of the overcast stitch. And we're going to sew that there. Um, that way, we'll make sure that this does not come apart whatsoever. I'm going to increase the stitching because I don't need it super, super small. And I just ride my foot along the edge of the fabric and it will grab the outer part and about a quarter of an inch inside. You want to make sure if you ride the fabric right along the outer part of the machine let me show you I'm just riding it along this foot here so that I catch it sorry about all the movement of the camera but I want to make sure that you can see this going to do the same to this side which um sorry about all the noise I have a tendency of trying to speed it up really fast and go I have to watch sometimes I go too fast and I'll snap my thread 
get carried away. I'm used to sewing on big industrial sewing machines. I've made, uh, when I was younger, I used to make um, upholstery for cars. Um, all the mat pockets, the seat covers, uh, door covers, um, headliners, all that. So I'm used to the industrial machines and they fly. And you want to make sure you get rid of any uh, strings that you have. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your batting and your muslin and you're going to hold that. And then you are going to turn this right side out and then you are going to press that. And remember to move your pens. <laughs> you'll, you'll fill them, believe me. Let me see. We don't want no pens in a microwave. Okay, so then you're going to press it, and it's going to come out like this. This is what it should look like. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold this. Well, we're going to fold this about three inches down the top, just like that, about three inches down. And you're going to take... Do about a uh, two or three inch piece of fabric. You're going to make a small piece. This is um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six inches long because this is going to make a handle so that you can hang it with. And then you're going to turn it inside out. I did it because it takes a little bit of time to turn it and I do not want to um, make this a super long video. So then what you're going to do is where this crease is right here you're going to take and you're going to put that this way this tag is going to be on the inside you're going to fold that back over you want about three inches you want to make sure that this all lined up and you're going to pin that in place so that's going to stay when we sew it then you are going to do the same here you're going to pin this side and you want to make sure that you're even. Then you're going to bring, see I look a little bit off here. I'm going to make sure, let me get the ruler to make sure. Um, I think I'm on, but we got three inches and three inches. Okay, good. Then you're going to bring this up. You're going to bring the bottom part up to the top and you're going to put this over. You're going to bring this up about an inch and a half onto here. We're going to sew this side and we're going to sew this side. So let's um, get that done. And, and you're going to sew all the way right here, all the way down. You're going to sew it. You're going to um, pin that in place. Pinning is a very important process. Pinning and pressing. Um, when I worked with a, a little old lady, um, at the time, I think she was 80, in her 80s, we were doing custom draperies. Her big thing was pin and press, pin and press, and she could not stress that enough. And I think that's why that stuck in my head. Pin and press, pin and press, pin and press. And it does make for a better product especially when you're doing quilts and draperies all right so now we're going to sew this and we're going to make sure you get all the layers well I forgot to switch my stitching back to single stitch but we'll go back and we'll trim the sides off and we'll uh, overcast it like we did the other part we don't want any raw edges and what I like to do where we are going to uh, where the seam meets here these two I like to really sew that because people are going to be opening and closing and you really want to make that um, super uh, strong And then I'm going to trim this side right here. I'm going to trim it like I did the other side. 
so I don't have all this in the inside of my bag. And every loose thread, make sure you do not have any loose threads. You don't want people having thread in their food. And that's the same thing here we're going to do. And I just keep back stitching over that one part a couple times just to make sure that it really does not come apart there when people are twisting and turning and putting potatoes in and you can do potato you can do all kinds of stuff and please remember when you use this do not um leave it unattended do not microwave for do a bunch of potatoes and keep microwaving and you're microwaving for like 30 40 minutes um or you it has been known that people have started fires in these uh, um this is a hundred percent um cotton batting it's a hundred percent uh hundred percent cotton uh non-flammable batting fire retardant i should say um and it's a hundred percent cotton fabric hundred percent cotton li liner and a hundred percent cotton thread make sure you have all that do not buy um fabric that has like glittery and stuff on there it it will not work it will start a fire um, make sure everything is a hundred percent. That's the best thing that you can do. And then I'm just um, binding this seam here. If you don't have that ability on your machine, just make sure you trim it really close. Don't get your thread. And you might want to double sew it so that you do not uh, end up with any loose stuff. Okay, so now we're going to cut the threads off. We don't want any loose threads anywhere. And I don't want to trim that. And these are really fast, really easy to make. Um, they make excellent gifts. I will go online and um, post the... Um, down below my video when I get time I will post everything like that you can make in the times that it is and please when you wash these either hand wash them or wash them in the machine but do not put fabric softener in these because the fabric softener will soak and stay in here and it will stay in your food you're better to hand wash them they're going to come out moist and the bags going to be damp when you um, done microwave you're to wrap like your potato, wash it really good, wrap your potato, put it in a plastic bag, I mean put it, I'm sorry, in paper towel. Do not pick it and you will have it. And here is our finished product. A really nice, you got a handle to hold um, your bag. You can put it on either side that you want. Some of mine have it on one side, some have it on another. Um, but this is my potato bag and then you open it up. Stick your potatoes in there, and you have a potato bag. Thank you. Have a great day. I hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up.